around the campfire, children. No. It's time for another messed up story by the robber. Uh, I got twenty five dollars for my birthday. Alright. Look at what he got. <laughs> we talked a lot about Patrick the last few years. We really have. Detailed stories of his birth, accounts to whatever he's been doing it with his life. But did you know Patrick had a special power? Around the fateful night at the age of 16, Patrick and his friends were hanging out at Brandon's house. Things were going usual. Pizza, food, fun, etc. His friends consisted of Roger. Others were Reese, Luca, Colin, Brandon, Shut Jake, up, Brooke, and Shelby. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the group was bored, and they wanted to head out somewhere. Maybe Kroger? I don't know. Don't ask me about the details. I'm just the narrator. Anyway, Luca chimed in. Hey, what if we took your parents' car and drove somewhere? <laughs> Brandon replied, That's not a bad idea! <laughs> then everyone burst out laughing. Of course we wouldn't do that. Anyone with a half brain wouldn't do that, Reese. <laughs> I know, right? I'd rather suck Colin's dick than drive that. And that's saying a lot, said Brooke. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, stated Colin. <laughs> The group had a good laugh over their stu own stupidity. I mean, the idea was really, really dumb. So the group took a bunch of bikes and went riding. Jake didn't have a bike, but he just rode the back of Roger like a spider jet jockey. <laughs> Shelby didn't, also didn't have a bike, so he held on Brandon's dick sack and, and <laughs> let him drag her along the bike. Sadly, however, on the way there, the group lost Brandon in a car accident. A shame, really, as it was nearly impossible to prevent. I mean, who had the time to undo the ropes that tied Brandon down to the road? Anyway, as the group entered Kroger, they purchased a bunch of food, steam gift cards, and a little pair of boots. Wait, said the, uh, asked the audience, what the fuck does this have to do with Patrick's power? Fuck up, the narrator replied. I'm telling the story, damn it. Anyway, it was then that they realized they couldn't really purchase any of the items, so they sold Shelby into slavery. Oh, well. <laughs> Next, the group went to Laser Quest. They had a fun time shooting lasers and pew pewing, but then Colin had a fateful accident. He was blinded by a laser! Happy. Oh no! Yeah. And on top of that, that one of the kids bought a machete and cleaved him while the guard wasn't looking. <laughs> Marshall, Marshall, that motherfucker. The Marshall arrived as Luca tried to help Colin, but he mistook Luca as the perpetrator and immediately shot him in the thigh. Ouch. <laughs> and now it was just Patrick, Reese, Jake, Roger, and Book. Damn, some people died, said Reese. Yeet, said Jake, poetically. Poetically. Apparently, the U.S. military didn't like Jake's poetic yeet, so they decided to launch a coordinate missile strike on Jake. As the missile rise, Jake screamed, Penis 97, out yo! As the missiles hit him. <laughs> some sharp no caught you. Shrapnel? Shrapnel? Yeah, shrapnel. That shrapnel caught Jake Brook in the mist crossfire. She fell to the ground, drooling one last breath. Roger, Reese, and Patrick ran through the streets, hoping to find a way out of this massacre and mess. As they approached a McDonald's, Roger collapsed on the ground. Bad rice, he moaned. <laughs> ha, loser, said Reese, who then also collapsed. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> then both of them died. Patrick was scared and slightly annoyed that all his friends died. Third time this week. And it was frickin' annoying. So Patrick decided to jump into McDonald's generator. And his hands got electric powers. He was trying to kill himself at this point. But he got powers, so he went to everybody's corpses and defibrillated them. <laughs> Roger, Reese, Brooke, Jake's left arm, Luca, Colin, and Shelby's slave owners. And everybody was happy, and Patrick got super I like how Brandon wasn't mentioned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>